Hey tubers, I want to tell you how to do something in your life that uh, just worked for me and the Lord put kind of like a icing on the cake humor piece on top of it. Um, this morning I was running a little bit late into my dump truck job and um, you know the boss told me to be at the yard at 7. So I, I get to the yard like 3 minutes till 7 and on any other day that would have been fine. The guys would have been standing in the yard joking around. I get there. Nobody's there, and one of the dump trucks passes me on the way out of the yard, and I'm like, uh, you know, what's going on? Did I miss something? And I ended up talking to the mechanic at the yard, and I was like, well, now the boss isn't around, and nobody's telling me what to do, and everybody's already taken off. You know, I kind of feel like if I don't get moving, I'm going to get in trouble, you know? I feel like a feel like a meerkat you know if i if i'm standing around i feel like a meerkat looking for the boss you know like he's the eagle you know <laughs> like you know that little rodent trying not to get eaten up by the the eye in the sky you know you ever been to the zoo and seen those meerkats they're always like <laughs> so that's what i was thinking of i was just feeling like uh i better be aware you know make sure the boss doesn't swoop down and get me so um I had a variety of things go on. Uh, I was trying to get to, I'm at an asphalt yard where, you know, they load up asphalt because I'm, I'm with a paving company. Um, you know, a little side interesting thing. It will be as the days of Noah. Uh, one of the things about the days of Noah, what did he use to, um, you know, put his boat together? He had gopher wood and the Lord told him to seal it with pitch. I was reading yesterday, I was like, what is asphalt made of? Asphalt is rocks and pitch. You know, pitch is like tar. It's called asphalt. It's called some other stuff, baritum or bar something, barahu, whatever. So it's funny, I'm on a paving job for the first time in my life. I'm on a job where the main component of what I do is tar, pitch, you know, <laughs> First time in my life. So, sorry, that's a little side rabbit trail. But I was on my way to this uh, asphalt plant, and it just seemed like things were going wrong. I got 10 minutes away from the yard, and I forgot my cell phone charger. So I went back to get the cell phone charger. Now I'm starting to think, man, the boss is going to catch me. He's going to yell at me. Where you been? What you been doing? Right? And here's here's the key. Here's here's the moral of the story. Um, here's the helpful thing for you in your life. As I was sitting in this rush hour traffic, kind of like like oh no, the boss is gonna come down like the bald eagle and you know get me in trouble, snatch me up. I was just saying, Lord, um, thank you for grace in the time of need. I just believe you right now that you're gonna cover my back. Uh, you know, the Bible says that the angels are the ministering spirit to the heirs of salvation. So I said, all right, angels, work everything out, you know, so that I don't get in trouble, so that the boss doesn't catch me. And uh, I was just saying, you know, Lord, thank you for grace for my mistakes. You know, um, I just believe that you are for me and not against me. And I'm just believing by faith that you're taking care of this situation. And, you know, the eagle isn't going to get me. <laughs> Right. So I got here to the asphalt yard and the other two truck drivers, the dump truck drivers are sitting behind me chilling out because they haven't gotten the call yet. And just everything's ah peace again. So I was literally here for five minutes. And for the first time, I've lived in Oregon for uh, a little better than four months now. For the first time. An eagle flew right over my truck. <laughs> you know, never seen an eagle out here. Uh, you could see his white head. And, you know, the eagle didn't see me. And he just kept, or if he saw me, he didn't pay any attention to me, obviously. Uh, you know, not any reason that he would. But it was just the fact that there was an eagle when I told the mechanic guy this morning, you know, I feel like a meerkat looking for that eagle, making sure the eagle doesn't come down and, you know, put his talons in me and mess me up. So the point is, 
grace for the time of need, you know. You can access things and thank the Lord for things before you get them instead of begging God for them because the Bible says that grace is available for us, that, you know, the angels work together um, because there's ministering spirits to the heirs of salvation. The Lord wants good things for you, and they come by thanking him for it and by receiving it. Um, Matthew eleven twenty four. 24. Therefore, when you pray, believe that you receive, and you will have whatever things you pray for. So, I just thank the Lord for grace. And instead of panicking, instead of being anxious, instead of being in fear about it, I just believed that the Lord would take care of it. And that's exactly what he did. And then he gave me the eagle for confirmation. Oh!